All right, My Hero Academia, episode 103, one step at a time, something like that. Live reaction. Let's do this. And they have Hawk's tail, bro. Or one thing at a time. I don't know. One thing at a time, one step at a time. I don't know. One foot in front of the other, something like that. Okay, so this is... That's Hawk. The... Mm -hmm. I already forgot the name. The Liberation. The Liberation, yeah. yeah. I was thinking of Legion because you said that movie before. and. Not that guy's not a villain. Is. I don't know who is. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot about <laughs> this him. guy, bro. Split twice. right twice. 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 I was gonna yeah. say yeah. yeah, twice, twice, twice. I'm getting it all messed up with my pop culture movies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're fighting Marxists. <laughs> 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 Hawks, dude. Don't sleep on him, man. Absolutely. Doing man. the work that not many people would. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get out of here. Did you miss the whole last arc? <laughs> like, great, kill them. <laughs> that guy's got to be on to him, though, right? Because he mm, just seems like yeah. Giga Smart. He did that on purpose. Mm. Yeah. No, but that was crazy. Huh? Mm. What the? F <laughs> By who? Tamora. Who's Tamora. that again? Shigaraki. Oh. Damn, how's he going to do that? Because it's Shigaraki. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's weird audio. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yo. I do love that thing at the beginning. Is I do think it's weird because I think we had this conversation with Attack on Titan where it's like visually, this OP is like kind of mid. Like it doesn't do a lot for me, at least for me. But like, you know, again, it, I think like, so I think that's the trade off is like every time, I don't know if it's on purpose though, because it's kind of weird, but it's like anytime an OP is like packed with stuff that's either like, Manga readers will know or whatever. It's like, I feel like the actual visuals are like kind of lacking. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This song just feels like it's missing something. Like, I like the start of it, but it doesn't like age. I agree. I feel I... like it get, it goes to its like crescendo, and then you think it's going to hit this climax, and it yeah. doesn't actually ramp. It yeah. just kind of bzz, and it just well, kind of yeah, flutters. That's, like, the song is kind of weird, and like the visuals feel like it doesn't match it sometimes because like it goes into like this crescendo moment, but then like. I don't know. There's no, they don't do like that usual like layer on top when like everybody, it's just like yeah. a lot of static images and people just moving slowly. And I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. So, okay. Now I'm like thinking twice on my prediction that I had like a couple episodes back. Shigaraki is powerful enough to just like level, level everything. And then I, fair enough. I guess he's powerful. <laughs> now I don't know how he's going to do it. I thought his core consisted of, I touch you, you go, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, I think there's, I there's more to that on a mass scale. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and poke some of the so actually, it's interesting. They showed him like doing a pose, and the whole ground was like exploding. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, uh. buildings. I want to see his dog. <laughs> it's a hot dog. <laughs> I guess something. So the Liberation <laughs> Army. So the League of Villains is with the Liberation Army, which is crazy. Uh, that they they've just been mm -hmm. putting in work. This League of Villains, they've mm -hmm. been making a name for themselves, huh? Yeah. Look while. at that. Small beginnings, huh? <laughs> Damn. All right, Shigaraki. Humble new beginnings. Yeah. Now we're real, company man. And shit. Now we're ready to destroy the world. Mm. Damn. 
Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Guy's a talker, huh? Jeez, that's a lot of people, though. Well, <clears throat> yo, mm. Watch now he's gonna give them like the special treatment and all the other work study people yeah. are gonna be like what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Mm. That's a big test. They're putting all their eggs in that basket. Well, not all of them, but they're putting some eggs in there, huh? Wow. <laughs> yep, here we go. Damn, that's an entrance. Okay. Damn. Can I talk about how much Let's infinitely go. more I like this arc already than the last one? Oh, yeah. Yo, the soundtrack. Oh, dude, everything's a fucking, everything means mm. something. God, Hawks, dude. I, Hawks, <laughs> Hawks, bro. He I really love does, Hawks. dude. <laughs> Mm. Dude, mm -hmm. birds of a feather. Let's go, mm -hmm. bro. Behind the scenes, shit here, dude. Hawks has this shit mapped out like a hundred different steps ahead. <sighs> wow, it's gonna be a, okay, mama. This is gonna be a freaking war. <laughs> <laughs> Lamilia, dude, come on. <laughs> Damn. Oh, jeez. So they got roughly the winter. <sighs> oh, that was fire. Dude. That was fire. Mm. <laughs> dude. Dude. Hawks. Oh, Just everyone. I oh. this kid so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Got the gym set up and everything. Come on. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know it's all my I'm forgetting that. <laughs> How do I explain this? <laughs> oh, shit. He can do it slightly. <laughs> He's got a lot to explain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair. 
I know. And Deborah's like, so you still like kill yourself when you fight? <laughs> like, uh, no, actually, <laughs> had a lot of growth. Bot goes just to be like, I blow stuff up. <laughs> Better. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at back in the background. <laughs> it's teething. <laughs> and Derek's going to be like, stop this bullshit. We're just going to do it by feels, bro. <laughs> Dude. Okay, <laughs> don't sleep on Endeavor. I love how indifferent he was to that, too. <laughs> oh, shit. He's not dumb, bro. He just figured out the book puzzle. He's on a roll. <laughs> this fucking kid, bro. Love him. Ah, man, I can't wait for you to get humbled. <laughs> but in a genuine way, like, I do think he needs it to grow. Hmm. Oh, okay. I misinterpreted the way he said that. I actually, I think that's pretty, that was big of him. Came off as cocky at first. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. So sick. Mm. <laughs> 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 Big shit right in front of all the sidekicks and everyone, too. That was. <laughs> Fair enough. Because, mm-hmm. like, what is he going to do? You know, yeah. he's got to play the game. <sighs> okay. Play <laughs> Baco walks.
Okay. There it is. That's the goal. Okay. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Man, he's come a long way, dude. It's really it's has. pretty crazy when you see these flashbacks. This guy, Damn, he's homie. got a long way to go. Damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he looks like a knockoff of the. Uh, he does the, vo- the vocal guy. guy yeah. yeah. Oh, present Mike. His little cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Fire. Literally. Well, you did have nothing but a motorcycle. <laughs> hmm. Really? I realized <laughs> that you just made an excuse as to why you didn't get here. That's funny. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Dude, you gotta love it. Come on. No. Yes, it's amazing. No, it's yeah. so funny. You guys are wild. You're fucking crazy. It's, it's no, as boring to me as you think. Deck Agreed. Was yes, nah, that's where I'm at. All. Yeah. Nah. It's like, dude, get. It's funny. The overconfidence. <laughs> Oh, hey. shit. Oh, damn. He's got to control his handling. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oof. Bro, oh my god, if that lesson didn't hit home. <laughs> wow. I like where he says Deku. Dick. <laughs> One thing at a time.
<laughs> if you're just a Chad yeah. God, then. <laughs> yeah. Still mad about that fight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> Oh, dude, Oof. this is why this is what I need. Like, this is the reminder of how much I, I do love this show. Like, oh, my God. And like Endeavor already, dude, for being a teacher, like second day on the job, man. Third day on the job. Honestly, killing it. I'm like, I'm, I'm loving it. I think he's doing he's working leagues for these guys mm -hmm. here. Like he understands them very well and i would say i was even guilty of probably sleeping on endeavor because i he's gone through that that sort of emotional growth right and he still has a lot to go but there's also the emotional growth of understanding other people when they're coming at you you know you get people that are like totally befuddled by what doing deku's like going off with this mile a minute thing and i was surprised that he was able you know you'd think that maybe the reaction from him would be something like all right, kid, like, you know, like, shut up, like, stop talking, like, you know, let's do this. I'm, I'm big, like, macho dude. But it's it's really shown, you know, leagues of his character growth that he was able to just dissect that and be like, so that's what you want to do, right? Okay, that's what we're going to work on. Bakugo, you did this. You know, like, he's able to dissect how to teach each, each of the three of these, or at least Deku and Bakugo so far. Showed us a little bit of a different case because of their history. Um, but I love it. I, I love this growth that, that he's had, and I love how he's helping them in, in such a different way and from this different perspective because All Might, not that All Might didn't put in an immense amount of training and work because he was, you know, he's a savage, but there is this difference in the sense that all might, you know, even if in his referencing there, when he thought of him in his mind is like, is kind of a different breed in terms of his quirk, you know, that he was bestowed that gives him the ability to just go beyond what is just possible in like the utmost sense. Right. So it's interesting getting this um, dynamic from endeavor now when he says, well, at least that's the way I know how to do it where, you know, you go back to these flashbacks of Endeavor drilling the same exact move over and over and over and over and over again until it's muscle memory and he, you know, burns himself out, no pun intended, both physically, mentally, going to the absolute limit to just destroy his body and to learn this shit to try and catch up to him. It's really just this, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be cool to see things from that perspective, you know, to, to be like, okay, this is how you kind of got to hit the wall and like break through it. Like one thing at a time. Um, I, I do think that's really cool. I mean, Deku's going to be a special case because he doesn't know that he has all might squirk. <laughs> uh, so there's that he's probably going to get an expedited process and be able to cross mingle them anyway. But, um, I just want to throw it out there. That I'm really liking this arc so far and I'm just, and I'm loving every, everything about like the, the growth that we're already seeing. And we're all, we're only like two episodes in. I love it personally yeah um I, yeah I, I, I definitely think it's cool and i think like it's you know it's obviously like what they all need right now right which is like learning how to train the way endeavor does because it's like you know whether you're talking about deku bakugo or shoto they all have like you know i'm sure a number of different things that they want to learn how to do that can expand their quirk yeah but like in a way that is what's been holding them back is it's almost like okay how do i put points into, you know, I'll put like three points into every category I have here in the hopes that like over time that will just get better and better mm -hmm. and better. And then I'll be a better hero, but Endeavor style actually works for them. Cause it's like, no, no, no. If you look at it from a manner of taking one of those categories and just maxing that thing out until you don't have to think about how to do it, 
then move over to the next category, work on that. And this thing is already so taken care of. It's already so ingrained in your mind that it won't ever hold you back because yep. you'll be able to do it on instinct. Mm-hmm. And then you can improve this thing. And then, you know, that, <clears throat> and it's like, you know, what he was saying in the, in this, in a different way, it does the same thing. It compound mm-hmm. starts compounding skills on top of each other yeah. until you are effectively able to extend your the range of your quirk in whatever way your quirk works. Yeah, and then it's even more reinforced by the visual learning aspect. Like when yeah. he's actually flying and he's changing direction, it's like it's one thing to sit down and tell them what to do, but when and that's the big word experience is when you're yeah. out there in the field and you're watching how things that you're learning in the classroom or are told to you applied via a different person that you're looking at. It really like breaks it down in terms of this is how they utilize it. I, like it, it, it almost is like inspiration to be like, I can like, I, I can do this. I can see how it's done. And it is, it is possible. It makes like the impossible seem possible because you're seeing someone physically apply it. And then it just may, it allows them to grow even more, which is awesome. And knowing that Endeavor's just an insane psychopath with stupid amount of power. It's like, it's crazy because there is so much that they can learn from him. Him, and I'm just ready to see what other banish shit they could do. It's yeah, it's also, I think, one of my other favorite scenes, and I, I love when they do this specifically in My Hero, is, I mean, it's emphasized in other shonen for sure, but, like, that scene that he has with Bakugo when uh, they're talking, and he's like, Bakugo, I noticed you were a step behind me. And he's like, well, yeah, but it's the winter. Like, you know I can't move fast mm-hmm. in the winter. And he's like, Bakugo, the difference between cl- the classwork and experience here is we, I don't have excuses. Like, if I'm too slow and I don't get to save this person, I could have a million different reasons why I couldn't do it. But at the end of the day, that woman's dead because I didn't get here on time. Yeah. Like, you either get here or you don't. There are no excuses. There are no shortcuts. There is no if, ands, or buts. You learn to do this or you don't be a hero. And it's like, that is, it's it's such a, you know, my hero does this thing with, like, the cl- you know, where it's like, oh, there are kids and they're learning. But it's like, when they... That's what I love the most about these work study moments is that sort of like culture shock of getting hit with like the reality of their job and like this is what they want to do. But this job, obviously, for the in the literal sense, is grueling because of the physical danger and stuff they're put in. But it's like this job is high demand. I mean, it's about as high demand as it mm-hmm. gets. There is there are no excuses. There is no I couldn't do it right this time. I like you are you are the only thing that stands in the way of somebody dying or living. And it's like, I love that. That is, you know, they, they all in a sense need that. They, you know, to Mm -hmm. understand sort of the, the gravity of like what it means, not even just to be a hero, but like to an extent, they're all gearing towards like endeavors range of being a hero, right? Whether it's like number one, number two, whatever being a hero in that caliber, I would probably say like top three comes with like that level of weight. Like you are the you are the person that people think about when they're in danger. You're you are the reason that somebody gets to live or die today. Like that's and it's I just oh so good. And it was represented so good the the fact that he's saying it and you don't see him for a second and then the, the shot goes back and he has the truck yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah, that yeah. second and they're behind him. Yeah. As in she would have got hit and died. You yeah. know, in that scenario, mm-hmm. it's like the excuses aren't going to cut it. That was my favorite scene as well because, like I was saying, I think in our last discussion that, you know, there are similarities in in, in Bakugo and Young Endeavor uh, for sure, and even in older Endeavor because those things are still in him, that mm-hmm. fighting spirit and sure. him just going ham. Um, but, you know, that that was a big one because Bakugo says, he's like, well, I want to see what I can't do. And at first I kind of, I got confused I'm still a little like, you know, like half and half on, on how it was going. Cause at first I was like, all right, dude, give it a rest. Like you're not God, you know? Uh, but then it was like, okay, I need to see in, in the sense, because, you know, I, I at least got the vibe that he thought it's like, there are genuinely things I can't do. I want to see what those are, you know? Um, but you know, that's the thing is like, you here's an abundantly obvious one, but that was a huge growth that needs to be a huge growth moment and, and drilled home because Bakugo says his mission is to come here and see what he can't do. But if you're going to make an excuse as to why you can't do it, mm-hmm. right, then it defeats the purpose for why, right. you know, for, for like mm-hmm. what the, the study's supposed to be. It's what can I do and how am I going to be able to do it? You know what I mean? And so that that's a big deal because, uh, you know, some people that are just that talented and, you know, uh, like good at what they do, like because Bakugo mm-hmm. being one of them, he's probably like one of the top kids in the class, if not the top. Um, it it could come as a shock to the ego, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like you say you want to see what you can't do, but when it's like abundantly clear, you might not want it. Like that's a sting to you. Mm-hmm. You got to open up mm-hmm. and be like, okay, this is where I'm lacking. So sometimes people that are so smart or so good at what they do are like, no, mm-hmm. that's impossible. Like it couldn't be anything off of my merit. There's some yeah. external factor. So I think that'll be good, and that that'll be a huge thing for Bakugo to move to the next level. To to, yeah. to you know be and especially with Endeavor being there because he was that self-centered almost selfish person and that's 
what that's who Bakugo is, and Endeavor knows that obviously. Yeah. And then he know, and that's what makes Endeavor great in the sense of being a teacher because after all of his changes, he is able to isolate how different people learn in different situations. And he's like, Bakugo needs like the hard, almost harsh reality because that is how he's going to learn. And Deku might not necessarily need that. He has to have this different, different approach where he can understand, like he doesn't tell him to shut up and stop talking. He can listen, interpret it, understand it and, and curtail like a, a learning, a, a lesson for him in a different way. And the same thing with the Shoto, like he, he is able to take these situations differently and then accommodate for them, which just all, also shows how much he has grown at, from from how he was prior, and it's and it's really awesome to see. And I can't wait for Baco to go through that. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how uh, I see it. It's um, yeah, yeah, it's really dope. I I think I don't know. So like the Endeavor Hero Agency arc isn't super long, mm. um, which I think is why I heard from somewhere down the grapevine that they were going to be introducing, like I don't know if it was like a couple episodes of filler. Um, it seems like they're trying to stretch out and wait until we get to, cause the next arc is the, my villain arc. Mm -hmm. Um, cause it's really weird. They flipped it in the anime. So there are like, I, I noticed in this episode, there are like some things that you would technically, that you would understand a little bit more if you had gotten that arc first, because of, in terms of context, like a, a lot of the stuff going on with Hawks and mm -hmm. the liberation, mm -hmm. there's like some things that they tell you that like, you don't you wouldn't know, or like it kind of, I don't know. It like kind of does some weird things to like the, the, you know, the order in which you get information, but it's hmm. not a big deal at the end of the day. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> I'm just like, <sighs> I'm just waiting, bro. I need to see this arc. Yeah. This so, is some crazy stuff, you know? And, and, uh, and I mean, shit, Hawks seeing them, right? That was this episode. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like I've watched five episodes in one. We're in the beginning there. Yeah, yeah. First of all, that feather move is badass. Yeah, um, badass. And just like Hawks is just like this, behind the scenes like getting down and dirty kind of dude that you know is going behind enemy lines and like you got to respect that in, oh, in a sense it's really cool and i love how endeavor you know through his growth is being like okay this is my role to play i trust that hawks has this covered mm -hmm. and i love their dynamic with each other because you you know you got to remember that endeavor was actually the hero that hawks most looked up to when mm -hmm. he was young mm -hmm. which was interesting because he's usually all might you know mm -hmm. and so that it's interesting now seeing them work together and, and how they're how they're accomplishing their goals. Uh, it, you know, it was really cool to see all that. And then, and Shoto, obviously his, his thing with his dad as well, where it's like, no, 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 no. Like I, this isn't smoothed over yet. Like I'm still looking at you as endeavor, not yeah. as my father. Like, so a lot of, a lot of things to go through here. I'm really excited to see how this arc shakes up and uh, what the boys learn at the end of it and uh, see it implemented in mm. future in future episodes. But yeah, just check it out until next time though. We will catch you all on the flip. Peace. 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 peace.